Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to add a background color to a text block in Squarespace. So I'm talking about like a text block with a colored background, something that looks a bit like this. This is something often needed in web design that Squarespace doesn't offer as a built-in feature, which is kind of annoying, but luckily we can make it happen with a bit of simple code. Don't get scared off when I say code, this is pretty basic stuff and you can totally follow along with me step by step today and copy and paste the codes. So let's jump in. Okay, so let's dive in. I'm going to be referring to this blog post on my website. This is the full written post of what I'm about to go through. And there are some copy and paste codes on this page. I will post the link to this blog post underneath the video so you can access it and follow the instructions step by step if you want to and copy and paste the codes that I've provided. So we're going to be creating something like this. So the text with a solid background color. And um, this isn't like something that Squarespace offers, like I already said, which is kind of crazy, but it is pretty easy to create. So um, let's get started. The one thing you will need is this tool called the Squarespace ID Finder. And it is a plugin for Chrome. So Google Chrome, the internet browser. If you're not using Google Chrome, um, I really recommend you use Google Chrome anyway because Squarespace recommends that you are using Google Chrome while you're using their editor because the editor just works the best while using Google Chrome. So you really should be using it anyway. I don't know if they create the Squarespace ID Finder in any other browsers, but um, I know it works in Chrome. So um, just, just download Chrome and use Chrome because it's just going to make your life so much easier. So I'm going to link this below the video. Um, so click on the link, which will open up this page. And I obviously already have the ID Finder installed, but you should be able to click on a button up here and install it to your Google Chrome. It's totally free and safe and works really well and I know tons of people who use it. It's also just going to make your life a lot easier when you're adding any sort of code to your Squarespace site, which is what we're doing today. So once you do download it, it will look something like this up in your toolbar here. And that's perfect. That's all we need. We can head back to our Squarespace site now. So I do have a Squarespace 7.0 site open. But it doesn't matter, this will work exactly the same either way. And I'm just going to head to the home page and I'm going to choose some text to add a background to. So let's say I want to add a background color to this block of text here. It's quite handy when you do have your text sitting over a background image. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do. Um, that's the most common reason people want a background behind their text because often it's sitting over an image and it would just be nice to have uh, a background behind it. So let's get started. It's super easy once you have this extension installed. All we need to do is come into our sidebar and click Design, Custom CSS. Then we're going to go up to our ID Finder and click on it. And once you click on it, you'll see a bunch of little tabs show up with random strings of letters and numbers. And these are different IDs. So it shows you firstly the whole page ID in the very top left. And then it will show you each different page section ID, which is really handy. And then one more step down, it will show you each block ID. So every single block has its own specific ID. And this just pulls it out of the code and shows you it really nice and simply. So it makes things very easy. So if you click on the block ID, it will automatically copy it. And we want to target the text block that we want to put a background behind. So I'm going to copy this one. And to make those tabs go away, I'm just going to click on the ID finder again. Then over in the custom CSS, I'm going to paste in my block ID. And then I'm going to um, click uh, type and add a opening curly bracket. And once you add the opening bracket, it will automatically append it with a closing bracket. So put your cursor in between those two brackets and just hit the return or enter key. And that's going to give you some room to write the code. So we're going to actually write the background color code inside these brackets. So basically what this is doing is saying, this is the block that we want to target. 
and then inside the brackets we're going to write the code that we want this block to use. So I'm going to pop over to the blog post again and scroll down to the copy and paste code. You can see here under step two where it says add your CSS. I've got the block ID and the opening and closing curly brackets and I'm just going to copy what's inside them. So obviously this block ID is just random and it won't be the same as our unique block ID. Every single block has a unique ID. So it's important that we just copy the stuff in the center. So what it is is background padding and text alignment. So we can change all of this to adapt to our block, but let's just paste it in and see what happens. So you'll see that automatically there is now a gray background image behind the text. And it also aligned our text to the center, which we didn't really need to do. It was already left aligned. So if I remove the text line, it will automatically go back to the left where it was originally. So I'm going to leave that removed. And on the first line for background, this is where we want to add our color. So if we have a look here, you can see that there is this code and this is what's called a color hex code. And I will put a link down below the video on what hex codes are and how to find the right hex code that you want to use. But basically every color out there has a hex code and it's really easy to use. Once you know what color you need, you just type it in. So the F0, F0, F0 is this nice light gray color. And then the padding is the space between the edge of the color and the edge of the text. So if I remove this padding line, you'll see the padding change and you'll see that it's quite a lot closer. So if I put it back and change it up to 100 pixels, you'll see that it will be even more space in between here. The block actually stays in the same place regardless because that's where our block is on the page. So if I click edit in this section, you'll see that this is where our block is. It's halfway and that won't change. So when we change the padding, the block will actually stay in the same place, but it will just increase the space between the words. So you can play around with the padding on what works best with your block. So that is essentially it. We've added a background color to our block and we've added some padding. I'm going to click save and then I'm going to click edit on the section and you'll actually be able to use the block just like you could before. It's just a regular text block, but now it has a background color. So you can change the fonts. You could center align some of it. You can really do whatever you want. It works exactly the same as any other text block. So that is how you create a background color behind your text. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below. And apart from that, thanks for watching.